Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Darkest Dungeon 2, the sequel to the hit party-based RPG roguelike that I'm excited to be checking out here today. I last played it in early access a year and a half ago, so I'm very curious to see what has changed, what's new, and pop on in, because the game is now out. So here we go. My friend. Our calculations were correct. The ephemeral equation is unbalanced. The Earth spins on a strange and terrifying new axis. And everywhere, unbridled consequence. The world is a wasteland of failures past. And yet, you must ride out into it. Unafraid. Take this. It is hope. The very last of it. It is yours now. You were bold once. Be bold once more. Free yourself from this suffocating stillness. Fix your gaze on the horizon. And face the fearsome truth of the darkest dungeon. All right. Hold space to skip. I did <laughs> a little bit late. Uh, but yes, so let's let the narrator surely talk one more time. The seat of your denial, perched precariously in the murky gloaming. All right. So if you're a fan of the first game, the combat very much still in place the same. I would say improved. Uh, but the structure of the game is going to be quite different. There is no base that you are building. It is instead a run-based roguelite with now meta progression in between to buff up characters over the course of time. Uh, so combat-wise, it's going to be, you know, a turn-based RPG but we're going to be on a actual run that could be theoretically completed in an hour or so instead of 70. So there, there's a marked difference between the two games, and that was very much an intentional thing. I know failure well. I glimpsed it lurking at the ragged edges of your mind. I watched its venom spread through the veins of the world, and I trembled at its terrible reverberations. All right. The crossroads. Wait for the lantern's light and welcome what help may come. Here we go. The party. Four heroes will join together on this expedition. Your salvation rides with them. Okay. And then, uh, you know, hey, I'll, I'll cover the rest of this stuff as far as I remember here. But we need to pick four characters. And let me tell you, we have four characters because we can't double up the here. Horrors of a hundred campaigns. There we are. And honestly, I think that they're in the correct order, really, anyways. Because you can see up here, this is where they prefer to be, basically. This is their preferred t uh, targets, position-wise. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So if you see, I, as I move up, they get a little bit more cool with moving to the front line. Uh, paths, quirks, skills. Wanderer. I mean, let's pop on in. But yeah, the meta progression thing was a big change over the course since I last played. I'm curious to see how it's going to shake out. Onward. And let us hope enough yet remains of the world. Zoop. The bulwark of your denial is giving way. Well, hello there. Okay, so we've got... Got our turn order up here. We're going to be going one, two, three... So yeah, you can see we can only select moves that uh, we're in the correct position and that are our targets for it. So this one we can't do for a couple reasons. These, I guess, it's just there's no 
there's nobody under half health, so we can't heal. So Noxious Blast is going to be a little bit of a damage, and we can also potentially get a poison. They could resist it. There is a They have a 40% Blight resist, you can see down here. So 9, if we can do 5 damage, we are as good as done with you. Wicked Slice, chance to go through uh, Death's, I think, Death Resist. These guys have none, so they will die when they reach zero health. A novel concept, uh, to be sure. But, you know, worth noting, some enemies will not die when their health reaches zero. They may die. That is kind of a big element of Darkest Dungeon, and has been. Whoop. Got a death blow there. A big thing, though, accuracy has been quite changed. Everything has a base accuracy of... Well, probably everything has a base accuracy of 100. I can't remember. Nice. Uh, but there are lots of modifiers that can tweak your accuracy the over the course of time as well. Burning brightly for Handle. all the world to see. There's the new meta currency that you will be able to use in between runs to get stronger. Bonus resistances to a couple things, but also less death resist. So if the hero reaches shaken? zero, they shall there is so become the dead. In store. Oops, hold on. Let me get... We've got... It's move resist. Move resist up and stun resist up, but death resist down. I'll tell you what, I will take it. Just don't die, forehead. All right. Here we go. We got a little bit of a, a camp. The Desperate Few. Encounters. During encounters such as this one, you must pick one of the choices by holding on one of your heroes. The results will be previewed at the bottom of the screen. So another major thing is there's a relationship element in the game too. So characters will start to get more and more angry if you don't listen to them or if... They don't get along well with other characters on the team because they're just their personalities don't mi like match up, or you're just selecting things that go opposite to their morals. Uh, apparently, these are all neutral. If I take this to this to these choices, I'm gonna go with uh, the one that gives me another trinket. Neutral. All right. Uh, fire resist up by a lot. Poison resist down. I'll take it, and we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Good luck to him. You know, if we can, if we're walking into a situation where it seems like we might be fighting fire you boys, a change in the air. then we'll go for it. Then. I missed it. You see, even your valley is not immune to the spreading stain. Okay, so they got blinded because we have a lot of light right now. Enemies had a 10% chance to become blinded, which is how you can modify resistance now. Uh, chance to miss. I could try and go for the Woodsman. 42 health is a large sum of health. So I can't say it's going to be likely. I do kind of want to adjust some audio, though. All right. So, yeah, since there's a chance they could miss, I could potentially get a lot of value in. Poison dart, two to four damage to poison. I think we just go for like a big smack. Not too great. Self move forward, gain two repost. Alt show the upgraded skill. So, I can't remember repost. I don't think it um, blocks the damage entirely. I think we just will attack back. Man. Four to eight damage. If you're cool with being in position two, which you are, I'll go for a dual event. Let's go for it. Spread some love. Bolster... We can give ourselves more armor, which is take half damage from the next hit. A chance to daze them. Move them back a bit. I actually might be down with that if we can get them knocked back. They're in a position where we could hit them with... Oh, blinding gas. 
chance to apply. I don't know if they can have double up on blind, though. It might be worth it. Okay, we, we've triggered combo. Okay. That doesn't use that. Good. Bleed. We got a little bit of stress as well. Academic view. During combat, hold alt or middle mouse while mousing over heroes to see the academic view. Shows full details on any token. Okay, I love that. Gotcha. Counterattacks the next damage attack. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to try and give it another go. We got three repost. Don't mind if I do. There we go. So we had the combo. We could do extra damage. We could potentially even get that again. No, it's on cooldown. I'm regretting going for the big boy first. If we move you back further, I'm going to be even less likely to actually be able to hit you. Though if you're in position three, I can still hit with pistol shot or duelist advance. So I think that's actually okay. Stop it. Not good. So he got dazed, which just puts him to the back line. The back of the uh, turn order. That's what daze does there. Okay, four. This is guaranteed to work, and it has 20% piercing on death's door. So he has a 25% chance currently to not die. You can see in the bottom right when he hits zero. This brings that all the way down to a 5%. In theory. Or maybe that's... Uh, I think you have to get to Death's Door first. Either way, I'm mad. Okay, that was a 25%. But he also has Poison on him now, which is another potential rock on Death's Door. It's just another good thing we can do. All right, let's focus on you now. Well, we gotcha. Come on now, Poison. Thank you. I would have been upset. I would have been real upset. Got Poison. We really want to get out of here as soon as possible now. Are we under half? Please tell me we're under half. Hmm. Okay. We should be. But then you're going to go... Because so the thing is, I could use this heal. Heal 20%, remove the poison, stuff like that. I'll tell you what. No, that's not going to work. Can I blind you? Nope. I'm going to regret this. Oh, now I'm really going to regret it because you went and hit him anyways. You dummy! You had to hit the guy who was going to counterattack, huh? Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. All right. That ain't good. I was hoping he was going to hit my front line, Push but no. To the inn. Rest that is quite painful. Await you. Uh, remove bleed, heal 10%. Remove, I believe that's going to be like a damage over time. Is that a damage over time for stress? Oops. All right. We'll go for that. Stress. Seems like you're more interested in that. All right. Screw done out. Yep, yep. Okay, we got a little bit of a heal over time. The fire is lit. The table is set. The inn's reach the inn. favorite guests. The resolute companions reach the torch and crown. Two candles gained. You found your fortitude at last. Collect which hope you can and end your expedition. And end your expedition here? 
The prologue quest is complete. For this first venture through the valley, there's nothing left to do, so end the expedition at the lower left of the end screen. Normally, the expedition can end in three ways. Victory, defeat, or abandoning. So this is another thing uh, about Little. the game here. Begin again. Some changes that have apparently been made. Uh, encouraging you to... This is not just unique to the prologue. Apparently, you are going to be encouraged to kind of tap out early or like in a risk reward situation you can potentially go further gain more candles to upgrade your characters or you can tap out so it's literally telling me for this one just tap out like you're done zo you did what you needed to do remain undeterred and ending early at any point you can end the expedition and collect your candles of hope during normal expeditions making it to the next inn is usually worth the effort because it'll award a significant amount prevail. of candles all right Scoot on in. Altar of Hope. Each expedition, you can earn Candles of Hope. The altar is where you will spend those candles to unlock new classes, items, pets, and more. For this first visit, you must visit the working fields. Which is there. Spare a thought for tools of iron. Such implements will serve us well. All right. So I must visit this. You're telling me it's literally the only... Okay. So only options. So we can unlock new in items, stagecoach items, real, items, combat items, trinkets. So I've been informed that there's also character strength stuff and not just these. But for now, I guess hit me with some combat items? Every twinkling recollection Ooh. is another implement at our disposal. Shuffle the enemy party. Okay. I mean, that sounds like fun. We got a couple we can go for. A drop of sanity. Poison resists for three turns. Let's grab a trinket. Unforgettable trinkets. The potential of cultist trinkets, 20%... Uh, debuff resist, 10% damage down per negative token. Oh my. And then I'll get a stagecoach item. Why not? A welcome advance Road gear. The science of survival. Bonus wheels. Uh, there are items that are essentially trinkets for your stagecoach. Provide valuable powers and bonuses. They can only be mounted or removed at a Wainwright who is at each inn. Stagecoach has a limited number of slots for equipment, but more can be unlocked at the Altar of Hope. Wait. Recollection, 4 out of 165 here. That's just at the working fields. There's 165 things that we're supposed to unlock. Wow, Sanctuary. man. As fleeting as a dying star. Away we go. Into the night. So we're going to... Do we have we don't have the same party, do we? Okay, so now we can actually pick our, our actual campaign. No comfort awaits you here. Away we go. Eighty we start with eighty-eight lights. I remember our first meeting on the steps of the university. A collegial handshake. That would doom us both. Your insightful questions during my lectures gave me pause. And I recognized in you something of a kindred spirit. Despite our differences in age and position, we shared a keen fascination for archaeology, folklore, and, of course, occultism. What, me? No. The crossroads. A beacon for the broken and the battered. Unlock at the Altar of Hope. Yeah, we gotta unlock all those at the Altar of Hope, but for now we just gotta go in with the same More squad. Than the horrors of a hundred campaigns. To the valley. But again. Onward once again. Though all the world's horrors bar the way. So I think the reason they have you tap out so early in that kind of like prologue tutorial thing it. 
a change in the air. Time to put my learnings to practice. Is to get you used to the uh, the concept that you're not gonna you're not gonna make it very far theoretically on your first handful of runs. You're supposed to tap out. All right. We have the yips. A 15% chance at round start to become blind. Not great. I really do want to... Um, hmm. I want to get the back line, probably. 40% blight resists. 3 to 5. If we hit the blight, this is way better. If we don't, it's not. Okay. Cool. Okay, so you are dead with... Nope, you're not dead with poison. Okay, so Dismas, you don't have, like, you don't have Grape Shot Blast or anything yet, do you? We'll be able to learn more skills and moves over the course of time. Hero Goals, scout a region with a Watchtower. Yeah, we could, uh, we could get them with a pistol shot. Which still means... Sure. Yeah, it's not a high chance. That's not really what I would have preferred is to hit you with that, so it was kind of a wasted shot. There we go. Three, three is good enough. The poison will take you. We got blighted. Tell the tree, oh my! I wish we didn't get hit with that dinky little one damage beforehand. That does not help. Four to eight. I mean, I think I'd like to get the riposte active here because we can be hit in position two as well. So we could remove this poison, which is going to be doing six damage. I think that the two of them have you. So I'll, I'll go for it. Between the two Welcome of you, you should be able to... Caustic for enemy. the love of God. You should be able to take out this guy. Three damage. That should be the bare minimum. Four to seven. Yep. And these guys have no death blow resistance. So we do have to deal with this guy. Carve the toy. So that worked out great. We have the combo trigger as well now. Uh... 30% Blight Resistance when the target has combo. So this is a guarantee. Because we have combo, we have a guarantee to, to Blight there, which is nice. That's 12 damage over the course of three turns. Mm -hmm. Could set up a combo for later. What kind of combos do you have? Plus 50% crit chance. I feel like we're going to be best just going for this right now. Just just some standard extra hits. Four to seven. I don't want to wait around for the poison. We'll protect here. We, we can uh, block some... Oh, boy. We block half damage if we tank the hit for him. I know we're hurting, but... It's kind of better for us to be at low HP. If we're under half, we can actually utilize our heal. Unfortunately, we won't be, though. Yeah. Dang, man. Is that Death's Door? We have another chance to proc a kill on the poison, which we do. Persistence will overcome even the greatest of threats. That is some pain on the man-at-arms. Mastery points. Five extra mastery points. Invested at the end to upgrade hero skills. Got some relics. Some rural riches. Various accoutrements and treasures. There is so no, much worse there's... in store. Okay, so if we, um... Okay, we... Excuse me? Why'd you pull that up if you're... Well, I'm driving. I'm driving here. So that's all it takes to get to the inn there. 
Gang, I guess we should tap out and collect our meta currency. Rest now for a time. No. Okay, so now we can check out this. We got a mastery One trainer. Quickly when survival demands it. So we can upgrade some of our skills. Wicked Slice becomes a sixth. Okay, say less. Okay, we should probably do that. Okay, so that one's upgraded. I wouldn't mind upgrading um, the Battlefield Medicine. It's only a 5% extra heal. Mm, it's, it's a small difference, but it's not. Uh... Two extra poison is actually a big deal. It does one more damage initially, which I don't really care about. But the two extra poison is is pretty big. I'm gonna try and do like heal yourself when the target has combos. Pretty cool. Give okay. Protect yourself twice. Wait, hold on. Uh, block plus. Give yourself two block plus. Target gets defended for three turns. That's really good. Block plus is a reduction of 75% damage instead of just 50. Flashing daggers. It's kind of our only AoE. Poison dart could be good. I could find myself using, uh, using it a lot more if it did four poison. Pick to the face being the other good idea. Because it's just a lot more potential damage. I'm going to go with the poison dart. Which leaves us with one point left to spend. We can get a double up on somebody. Uh, we can gain... Gain dodge. That seems like... Uh, let's do it. Okay. Get those. Dunzo. The next stop is leagues away. Plan accordingly. Alright, so we got some wheels... Zoop. This will serve well. Wait. Did we start with the... We start with the stuff we unlocked from meta progression, too? Are you for real? We do? Oh, I don't like that. I'm not a, not a fan of that. You could just save all of... You could save all your candles for one run and then just dump them all in and you're, you're stacked. I don't like that. Oh, well. Uh, resistance up. I don't think I need that. Shuffled enemy party. I think I'm good with you having that. Uh, and then I shall give this to Barista. Here you go, Barista. Minus damage per negative token. You know, if anyone was going to take it, I think it'd be you. Okay. Wheels damage when driving on rough roads. We have 20 bobbles. Sure. Ride. For a time at least. I'll I'll just do it. I'll do it. So we can select our routes. Spend what you can. Or wealth no longer has meaning. If Radiant indeed flame. it ever did. One. A helping hand, max health. So it seems like this is just um if you want easy mode, you can you can pick that up. Seems to be the idea. Bonus flame, it's a consumable. It seems like a good call. Remove poison heal. Reduce stress. I'll get a couple of those. I'll get a couple of those. I think that's going to be good enough. You can grab that. Who's more likely to be poisoned? Probably the front line. There, we'll do this. Okay, out we go. Every road a winding torment. The sprawl Every or the tangle? Bent on our destruction. A luxury gear for your stagecoach. 
A random hero after every location loses one stress point. Oh, they also... Plus 100% hoarder location scouting and 200% extra hoarders. A lot less location scouting and route scouting. So this is... It's kind of pushing me towards this one. I think these are randomized and it's random, Another random, random, which I kind of like. I like that a lot. Another inferno of mutilation and madness. Rest for the night and journey onward? Yes. Let's go. Looked like we were fine enough so we didn't have to use any items or whatever to heal, but... I do recall there's, like, some resting we can do. It always brings this up. Behold. While I'm moving. As the stagecoach drive, stage drives here, will slowly heal HP. This healing rate can be improved with some stagecoach items. If they're badly wounded, try and avoid location fights and drive for a while to heal back up. The great cities of man. Ruined. Smash the books. Flame. Oh, hold on. Are we actually supposed to... Driving on, on a hazard will damage one point of armor on the stagecoach. If it has no armor to, de to deduct, the party will be ambushed and need urgent an urgent repair battle will ensue. Okay, so we need to avoid... We do actually need to avoid the fire books. But his prices remain fixed. Okay, two targets... Get calmed a bit. Wouldn't mind one of these. Hell, I wouldn't mind two of these. Remove stealth. Good to go for now. Okay, so we're going to move up to here. We have a choice. I'll do a hero's shrine. Smash that one. Our protection has been stripped what? to its last. Excuse me? I didn't I did not run into the thing. When you're ambushed due to depleted blep blep blep, you must fight off a group of opportunistic enemies while at a disadvantage. Each combat round, one hero will be randomly chosen to assist in repairing the stagecoach and won't be able to act normally. Additional negative effects may apply. So is it just random when we take that damage? Because I did not break the little pile. Okay, who do we go for? Let's do Dismas. Highwayman. Chapter 1. Freedom. Prison riot. A fleeting chance to escape incarceration. Alright, so we have a couple different moves here. We get, like, kind of these specialized story beat fights for their past. Uh, but yeah, we get a custom move. Knee strike, we're out of position for that. Lunging cuff. Move forward, give ourselves a block. Target gains combo. So we want to do, like, a little bit of a... Whoop. Oh, you son of a gun, you moved to the back. Are they just all going to do that, though? I mean, we might as well try and comp get them all with combo. But there you. Oh, that one was a crit. I'm as far back as I can go. Give me a break, man. Okay, so we don't want to go for that one. All right, we need to get to the front line. We'll let this one do his thing, just in case he moved back. There's a chance. All right. Sound the alarm. Alarm. 
Ready to sound an unavoidable alarm. Gotcha. So we might need to do that on a couple fools. Whoop. Get out of here. If our stress gets a little bit too high, we're going to need to throw a stone missile. Can only hit one of these two. I might as well get a combo going on you. Oh, the crit. Okay, you're going to do your thing. That's fine. I'm not bothered by the stress for now. We will need to care later. Don't you dare move to the back line. I can probably... You are moving to the back line. Alright, well this one's going to be... Uh, Or there's a small chance that I don't get the kill if we do it the other way, so I'm going to say sure. Pain. We want to accept this stress. It's okay. Like, I would rather get hit by the stress right now. Stop it. Good. Finally. You're out of here. Hit me with it. It's fine. Because we can take we can take another one is the thing. As rough as it is, we could take that. We can't take we can't take another one now. That is that is the truth. All right. Whoop. But yeah, we don't want to stress get too high. We've learned man, point blank shots. A free one, nonetheless. A lot of damage to the front. One unit, and then move back a little bit. Target gains knockback and a combo. Good deal. I earned that second chance. Let's check the stress here. What does it want to say? Uh, they start at zero, gain through a wide variety of events. They can be lowered in various ways. Indeed. Am I being ambushed? You must survive this onslaught short-handed. Okay. Gotcha. Yep. Getting you out of here sounds like the uh, the best possible call here. Song of Shadows. Next skill is a guaranteed crit, and you also ignore resist. Okay. Nine, so we can do two. We can potentially do six on average. We're not very likely to kill otherwise. Can you hit position three with a mace? Yes. Then I'm going to go with flashing daggers. Under the hope that that was going to do a little bit more, I guess. Good crit. Yeah. Oh. Have to repair. Not great. Not great indeed. Because we didn't. We don't have the armor that we get at the start. It's gonna be a stress move. Yeah. Stress every three. Every turn for three turns. So if I can hit you with the blinding gas, that's gonna be really appealing. But it's not very likely. If it works, that's huge. That's huge. If you miss your crit move, that's going to be so beneficial for me. Okay. So we can use the flashing daggers to hopefully kill. God dang it, man. I hate this freaking use your turn to freaking fix the stagecoach. I keep... I'm gonna have to get used to that. This didn't exist the last time I played. It's clever. And you know what? Yeah, you get to go... You get, and you're gonna get to go now because that moved you up three. You dirty devil. Oh, I'm upset with you. I think we... I think we try and go for you well. 
yeah, well we well we have you here. I think we accept that. Oh, that's another stressor move. Protect the child. So you have of course you're the one who has to repair the freaking cart though. I thought I had uh because she has the move that goes through block. It ignores basic block, and I'm assuming it can ignore the next block too. Though they are in position three anyways. Yeah, you have nothing you can do except for um hit the front line anyway. Not gonna do it's not gonna do a lot. But, yeah, you go to the back line once more. It also nets us a heal if we do this. I don't trust uh, my Plague Doctor to fix that up. Easily resolved. Resistances. I don't really need any resistances right now, as far as I'm aware. I can't uh, potentially blind the back line, unfortunately. That would have been great. You can't, you, can't, you can't at least hit this must. Oh, you son of a gun. You coward. You coward of a man. Protected by the woodsman, so. I could heal that bleed. We'll need to look at somebody else to see if we can heal up one of the, the stress. The oh my god, and it was damage. a crit! Oh my god, another critical stress. We just had a meltdown. Minus death resist. Not great. So you are still protected, so there's not a huge reason to uh, help out here. If they have more than five stress, remove stress, add block. Unfortunately, too late. So we pretty much have to go for you. The question is, what do we want to do? This turn is on its way out. To be clear, if I do this, it just automatically goes to that unit, if you're un unaware. Flashing daggers both hits the same. You've got... You're taking 12 poison, so to an extent, it's irrelevant now. Ah, okay. So it truly does only ignore block. It does not ignore taunt. That makes sense. So we brought him down. We couldn't, like, do, there would have been no point to do, like, two damage to him, though. Shuffle. Okay. All right, we, we've done it. We're fine. But, oh, my God. Um, we don't want to kill back there. We want to try and at least see if we can let you heal yourself a little bit. There we go. That helps. This guy should die by... Yeah, die by poison. Alright. That is brutal. So, how do we... Yeah. I'm gonna need to figure out how to stop the ambush stuff. Let's check the list here. These repairs will hold. Affinity system to survive your expedition. You need to pay attention to heroes. How heroes feel about each other. A harmonious team is an effective team. Okay. Let's see. Let's check... The map, no. Stagecoach, travel healing. Uh, hazardous routes. Driving on a driving on a hazard will damage one point of armor. Okay. So, but we could have known that it was a hazardous road. How do we get to? Uh, how do we know what is a hazard then? Because it shows up quite fast. Is that a hazard? I can't... I can't rotate. No, it's not a hazard. That's just... <laughs> it's just a sewer grate. Academic cash. Hey. potency still lingers hey. in some of these well-worn relics. 
fire piercing. Ooh, traveling heal, stagecoach item. That's going to be really nice. Yes, it, I agree. So is that a trap? Let us hope the madman's scrounging has borne fruit. Okay, so that time it was. I guess the fire indeed is. It seems like it's 50-50. Sometimes I, I walk over it and it gives me an item. Maybe it's just risky. Maybe that's just the thing. Like it could help you, it could hurt you. Is there anything that will repair the uh, the cart? I don't think so. Don't have too much that I'm worried about going for here. Can't afford too much. Shpoop. Quarter of the watchtower. The Go to the watchtower. To the fire. Their flesh melting like candle wax. Just avoid stuff. See, okay, I have no idea what I hit there. They seek the strike. Could we not tell you what I hit off. there. I'm sure there is something. Like, I at least I hope, and I assume there is, and I hope there is. If there's not, yikes, man. Okay, good. Okay, we got the blind off. I appreciate that. Early poison in for four. Please miss. If you miss, you're out for the count. Of course not. Loses your next action. Of course. It was a 50% chance. So, we do not have our runaway. You are already out. Poke the back line. No, you're stealthed. I'll add combo to that jabroni. Oh! Boy, just like that, we're under half. Okay, so are you just going to keep on doing that? Remove vulnerable. Minus stress. That actually seems like a decent enough use here. We also gain a little bit of block for ourselves. You don't get a turn. Steady yourself. Another. I mean, it's a 100% chance to crit. Is the thing. So that's why it feels like it's critting a lot, because it does um days converts to stun when stacked is pretty cool I feel like I'm not too I don't really need to I don't think I needed days they're already going last it's kind of irrelevant don't love you being in the front but maybe we'll just uh, end up healing you you repair. You do you. You know what? Sure. I'll hit you with that. Get a little bit of a heal. I'll, I'll cash out on that. Battlefield medicine to heal up in the front. Protect the child. Sure. I feel like flashing daggers can't actually hit. Can it? It can. It can. It can. That's AOE is the one time where it can kind of squeak through there, which is very helpful. If I can get some Noxious Blast going, set six poison. Good call. We just start chopping. Anyway, I started blasting. You don't get a play. Dodge, please. You had a chance to dodge! Oh! 50% chance to dodge. And we did not. That would have been nice. 
And of course, our tank is uh, the one who resists. Not good. Our tank who can taunt and protect you. So here's the thing. It doesn't really matter if you're at three or um, seven. It's completely irrelevant, honestly. The way that death's door and dying works in this game. One health is kind of the same as like four. So it, it, there's not a huge reason to, to help out here. Unless they changed that since I last played. Okay. So that brings you down. All right, cool. I would love to get another turn with my... Okay. There's a... <sighs> I could reduce some stress if I wait long enough here. If I, I could let the poison go, but like, God, that's risky. If I hit him with my main attack, it's definitely good. And this is like, I could potentially, potentially remove one stress. It's not worth wasting a, a turn. To, to hope, right? The one Doesn't make sense. The extreme. This work is noble and necessary. Rip. When 100%, every hero gains 50. Oh. All right. Well, alas, alas, though. I think that's that, and that's going to be where we call it here for today. If you guys want more Darkest Dungeon 2, you're going to have to let me know in the form of a comment down below. Uh,. But yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's still a solid game. Like, the thing is, it's so funny. It was so many updates throughout the early access. I was like, every update I saw that they were changing things, I was just like, yes, 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 yes. Like, so many great things. And then they slapped in the candle update, and it kind of muddied my excitement to, like, a pretty large degree. But there is still a chance that it's not that bad. Um... But the game is solid. Like, it's it's very polished. It's still, combat-wise, it's still very much Darkest Dungeon. A lot of people are obviously, like, quite upset by, uh, I, you know, a change away from the exact same game uh, with the Hamlet and everything like that. There's still a progression, but I don't really, I'm not a fan of the way they changed the kind of, like, out-of-run progression. Because you can never go back, right? It's like, what if you built up your Hamlet, but you're building up your Hamlet forever you can never go back and right away you just don't you might not have the tools you need to complete a run because you just haven't collected enough candles yet and i don't like that for for my own enjoyment of a game like this but i think that the roguelite nature is or the roguelike version of the game was really really cool and appealing and i'm curious to see where uh, where this goes this version of where they took it as they updated it uh, and changed it quite a bit. But a lot of what's great about Darkest Dungeon is very much still here and is very much worth playing, in my opinion. Alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roguelike some more every single day. What is happening here? Uh, thank you, thank you. See you next time. Bye.